In this video, we will learn how we can lower cholesterol. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Cholesterol is a waxy substance that is produced by the human body and is also found in animal products. Some cholesterol is needed for cells to function. Unfortunately, excess cholesterol builds up inside the arteries. Cholesterol starts increasing from childhood to the time when our body is at underdevelopment stage. Until then, the cholesterol we gain from the food our body uses is for the body growth. After 18 to 22 age period, when our height stops increasing, then cholesterol starts increasing in body. If you eat junk food along with non-veg, alcohol, and smoking, and if your daily routine didn't include physical work or exercise, then until 40s, almost every such person got symptoms of cholesterol. If we pay attention on it in the beginning, then the increase or decrease of cholesterol can be in our hands. There are different types of cholesterol. LDL is the bad cholesterol. It's the kind that can raise your risk of heart disease, heart attack and stroke. HDL is the good cholesterol. It's the kind that is linked to a lower risk of heart disease, heart attack and stroke. For travel through your bloodstream attached to protein in a combination called a lipoprotein. Two, lipoproteins are the main carriers of cholesterol. Low density lipoprotein, LDL, and high density lipoprotein, HDL. LDL acts like a fat delivery truck. It picks up cholesterol from the liver and delivers it to the cells. When more cholesterol is ready for delivery than the cells can take, LDL cholesterol drops off the extra cholesterol on the artery walls. A lot of LDL cholesterol in your blood increase your risk of heart disease and stroke. HDL works like a garbage truck. It removes excess cholesterol from the bloodstream and takes it to the liver. A lot of HDL cholesterol decreases your risk of heart disease and stroke. How is cholesterol tested? You need a blood test to check your cholesterol. A cholesterol test, also called a lipid panel, measures all of the fats in your blood, including total, LDL, and HDL cholesterol. High cholesterol levels don't make you feel sick, so the blood test is the only way to know your cholesterol levels. Having high cholesterol can lead to the buildup of plaque in artery walls. This buildup is called atherosclerosis. It can lead to coronary artery disease, CAD, heart attack, stroke, or transient ischemic attack, TIA, and peripheral arterial disease. Atherosclerosis can cause these problems because it narrows your arteries. When enough plaque builds up, it starts to narrow your arteries. This happens slowly over many years. In time, the plaque can limit blood flow throughout your body, including the heart and brain. Hardens your arteries. A healthy artery can widen, dilate, so that more blood can flow through when needed, such as during activity. When hard plaque forms in the walls of an artery, it can make the artery too stiff to widen. This hardening of your arteries can also limit blood flow in your body. Blocks your arteries. When a blood clot forms around a crack, or rupture in the plaque, it can block the artery. This can cause a heart attack or stroke. How to reduce your cholesterol. Eat less total fat, because a high fat diet increased cholesterol. Just cutting back on cholesterol is not enough. You must cut back on total fats as well. Buy a cooking oil that is lipids at room temperature, such as canola, corn, soybean, sunflower, and use less of it. Exercise more. Exercise increase your protective HDL cholesterol level. Lose extra pounds. Losing even 5 to 10 pounds can increase HDL levels and lower your total cholesterol. Eat more soluble fiber, which lowers overall cholesterol. Quit smoking. Quitting can increase your HDL levels and reduce your risk of heart disease. The two types of treatment are 1. Lifestyle changes. 2. Medicines called statins. Total cholesterol levels are categorized as follows by National Cholesterol Education Program. Under 200 mg DL, desirable. 200 to 239 mg DL, borderline high risk. 240 or higher, high risk. If your total cholesterol is high, measuring the other types of cholesterol may be useful, especially before considering the use of medications to lower cholesterol. For most people, a low-fat diet is all that is necessary to lower cholesterol. Because of the potential side effects and risks, medications to lower cholesterol should only be considered in people at the higher risk for heart disease. If you are at age 40 to 65, at very high risk for heart disease, and you find that a low-fat diet is not enough to lower your cholesterol, 
then adding cholesterol-lowering medication may be helpful. In order to decrease the danger of the heart diseases by lowering the cholesterol, the most important thing is to decrease the number of triglycerides and LDL, lower density polyethylene, means bad cholesterol, and increase the amount of HDL, high density polyethylene, means good cholesterol, to lower down the amount of LDL. First of all, we have to eliminate those foods from our diet which contains excessive amount of carbohydrates, saturated fats, and bad cholesterol. For this, you have to reduce the quantity of meats, eggs, fried items, vegetable oil, butter, flour items, desserts with excessive sugar, cigarettes, alcohol, and packed snacks or eliminate them completely from diet for some time. Apart from this, include fiber-rich food in your diet as many as possible, from grains multi-grind flour, porridge, brown rice, barley and millet can be used, from vegetables and fruits, green vegetables, carrots, beet, spinach, turnip, okra, cauliflower, mango, watermelon, pomegranate and all type of seasonal vegetables and fruits can be used. Those who have increased cholesterol level should use vegetables, fruits, salad, sprouts, soup and juice as breakfast. Means in the morning breakfast should be completely oil free. After this for lunch and dinner, 40-50% to 50 food should be fruits, vegetables, and grain, and remaining 50% should be normal daily cooked food. This type of diet is most important for those who don't work out and have to sit for a long time during work hours. If you follow this diet plan just for 5-6 to six days, then from 7th day, you will start feeling an amazing change in your body's energy. Because when you improve your diet, good cholesterol automatically starts increasing in your body. The cleansing of the blood begins, and its effect is visible on the body as well as the skin. Garlic is also very beneficial for reducing the cholesterol. According to a research of 2013, if we use half to one gram of garlic daily, then it reduces the increased cholesterol and triglyceride in body quickly. Garlic can be used raw or roasted in both ways. With all these remedies and some changes in diet, some precautions are also very necessary for control cholesterol. Try not to dehydrate the body. For this, drink at least 7 to 8 glasses of water daily. Daily go for a walk in the morning. Morning walks strengthen the nerves, reduces the bad cholesterol, and maintain the blood flow in arteries. Don't use fried items in food, and if you eat non-veg, then stop it completely for some time. And if you are addicted to smoking and tobacco, no matter how many home remedies and medicine you try, nothing will work. Lifestyle changes are always important even if you take medicines to lower your risk. If you find this video useful, please like and subscribe. Thanks.